when performing lung isolation and the patient has a difficult airway, intubating with a double lumen tube is more challenging. We can secure the airway with a single lumen tube and use bronchial blocker instead. Okay, today we will use the easy blocker. Okay, first intubate the patient with the normal ET tube. Then insert the easy blocker inside the ET tube. It is easier when the easy blocker is already loaded on the Y connector. Then attach the Y connector to the ET tube. Attach the anesthesia breathing circuit to the Y connector to maintain ventilation during the procedure. You have a port where you can insert the flexible scope. The scope is required to assist and confirm placement of the EZ blocker. The EC blocker should sit at the carina, while each one of the two tips should lodge on each of the main bronchus. Here, both of the tips are lodged inside the right main bronchus. In these cases, pull out the EC blocker and reposition with the guidance of the flexible scope. In some cases, it is difficult for the tips to separate. It is advisable to retract the endotracheal tube away from the carina to give room for the easy blocker tips to separate. To correct the orientation, rotate the easy blocker from the top. Okay, now you can see one is going to the left, one is going to the right. And you can see the one on the right is the, the yellow one. So, if you want to isolate the right one, we will be inflating the right one. And you could see the right one is occluded. So if you want to do it on the left side, so you choose the blue one and inflate the blue cuff. Then you could see the blue cup is the one inflated and you've isolated the, the left lung. Another advantage of a bronchial blocker is at post-op when the patient needs to remain intubated, you could just remove the bronchial blocker when lung isolation is no longer warranted.